Caddis Maximus here, this time with the review of the Harbor Freight Quinn Universal T-Handle Nut Drivers Set. Seven-piece set, and that is usually the standard for nut drivers. Uh, more complete sets are like 10 or 12 pieces where they don't have any skips in sizes. And what they've done here is they've catered more to the fractional, where it's a nice even spread for fractional, and they do skip. Because of that, there are some odd skips in the metric. We have 4.5 millimeter, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 13 millimeters. So there is no 12 millimeter or 7 millimeter. And surprisingly enough, you do run into 7 millimeter pretty often. Of course, in the fractional sizes, 3 sixteenths, quarter inch, 5 sixteenths, 11 30 seconds, 3 eighths, 7 sixteenths, and half inch. Rattled off all those different sizes. And so how they achieve that is through spline drive sockets. Now what spline drive sockets are is they're essentially, or they are, they're metric sockets that have had the flutes cut very deeply. You can see how square and how small the actual drive surfaces are and how much space there is. And so that allows the hex of any kind of fastener to sit a little bit deeper and it allows them to essentially drive both sizes. The problem is, is they don't really work particularly well on fractional fasteners they're really asking for trouble because they just don't grip as quite as well as something that is actually designed for that size and what i mean how they work is because on a standard socket they have you can see the flutes are more hexagonal and that allows them to drive with a little a bit more surface area let me finish off the sizing thing in a second and i'll show you what i mean uh by the skips, I'll not show you, but tell you that they should have had a larger set because since these are Harbor Freight Quins, you're not going to be able to buy any individuals. I mean, I highly doubt Harbor Freight's going to release any that's going to fill out the individual uh, missing sizes. So that can be annoying. One of the features, though, of these, we'll finally get to the point, is how they're both a T handle and a regular screwdriver. So they have this big cutout here and it allows the handle to flip forward, and they have a small steel pin, which seems like it's good enough. It's a pretty small hole, and uh, still maintains a lot of a girth of plastic because it's a little bit weaker with this cutout. And the idea is, and they tried to design them pretty well, where it actually will pull out and unlock, and there's a hole in the handle, and then they swing out to be a T-handle, so you can break a fastener, start to spin it out as a T-handle and then convert it back into a screwdriver and push it in so it doesn't want to flip out when you're using it as a regular nut driver. And yes, indeed, these do have hollow shafts so you can drive nuts that are down long threaded bolts, which is nice. What is not nice is a few things. One is consistency. Some of these, even in the locked position, kind of wobble, so that could get a little bit of annoying. Another thing I worry about is it looks like this pin, there's friction held in the actual plastic, so it could potentially work its way out one side or the other, and that would be an uncomfortable surprise to have your hand slip over that, so I worry a bit about that. Also, uh, another contention is most nut drivers are actually pretty nice. They're uh, tubed and they're forged, one piece. And these are strange because they're actually two-piece. They have a socket in that's been pressed onto the shaft. And then they were actually chrome-plated after the fact. And we can see on some of these where the chrome plating doesn't look very happy uh, right down there in that corner. And finally, the last thing, even though I do like this feature a lot when it comes to um, flipping these out and being able to use them as a T-handle, they're always kind of, uh, they always seem like a, really more of a disappointment to me because I don't like the way this the spline drives work although these would be great as just a metric set and I'm probably gonna keep them for that just for the convenience even though they don't have a 12 millimeter and that would really be a lot more convenient than the one that runs on that works on a half inch and 13 millimeters although for some people that may be okay it really depends you know if you work on a lot of Japanese vehicles uh, then yeah you know eights tens twelves fourteens those are the sizes you see a lot of. They do have a rubberized over mold. You know, they do seem pretty decent. They really, the some of the consistency issues like on this 10 millimeter one is like, this doesn't snap in just super well. So some of that can be a problem. Also, if you really are just torquing with your hand, it can come down here. And if you catch your finger on that sharp edge right there, 
that could be a little bit painful. So if you do end up liking these and picking them up, I recommend just hitting those corners of the file just so they're just not quite so sharp. Anyway, it's kind of an interesting idea. I think they could, of course, being Harbor Freight, work on a little bit of quality control. And, you know, if they're going to be these Quinn professional brands, you know, have a $25 set that's like a 10-piece that's really complete and you're not left with always trying to grab for the one size that you always seem to need that they skipped over. Oh, and the other criticism here is even though they do color code them, and I do like that, it makes them easier to pick out via the cap color what size you need, they did just silk screen the uh, um, size numbering or lettering on the back. And, you know, if they did something recessed and then colored it, then it wouldn't uh, want to scrape off. That's going to end up rubbing off super fast. Anyway, for 20 bucks overall, I think you're getting what you're paying for. You know, there's quite a bit of molding involved with these. Quite a bit of tooling. They're advertising being chrome vanadium. Lifetime warranty. It just seems that... Uh, they're kind of hinky. They're sized for you to use them on fractional fasteners, and that's where they're going to be the most dangerous and most likely to actually strip one out and end up kind of causing you frustration. For me, I'd end up using the 8 and the 10 millimeter and probably the half inch, um, and of course the 6 millimeter, and the rest I probably wouldn't touch for a long time. And to give you a quick example of what I mean uh, by how badly sized or how poor spline drives, I'm really more against spline drives people you know they are supposed to drive all these different fasteners they don't drive all those different fasteners well all those squares and external torques that they advertise these little teeth are just barely engaging those uh the flats of those kind of fasteners and even on a hex fastener we have an actual three eighths fastener here and this is a you know high grade forged and it has a little bit of rolling that's pretty common and we can see this nut driver we have to get almost all the way down in order for it to drive this 3 8 bolt. And this is, you know, the 3 8 by 10 millimeter. And uh, we have to just, you know, it's off just by a little bit. So all this is, at, you know, promoting you to do is trying to strip out fasteners. Where, of course, on an actual 10 millimeter, this thing works great. It's perfectly sized because these are actually metric sockets. Of course, if you use a real 3 8 then you get the expected behavior. It actually drives it like you would expect it, uh, nice and confidently with a lot of surface area. And 10 millimeter and 3 eighths is the worst one to choose because 3 eighths is actually 9.5 millimeters. It's right in the middle, so it's where it's most pronounced the issue of uh, spline drive sockets. You know, on fasteners that are, you know, beat up and rounded, they do help there just because they have all that extra clearance. But they're really more for a tool collector. Anyway, I think I blabbed long enough, far too long even, about these uh, nut drivers. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and commenting. I do like reading the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.